Giuseppe the MC is here in Sault Ste. Marie in advance of his upcoming show at the Machine Shop in February. What can people see when they come out to your show? Well, my show is about my mother, completely, and it's in uh, it's in my dialect. It's in Calabresa, so I mean, there's English as well, but it's just basically stories about growing up with my mom. No, ma, non si dà dei biscotti che mangiare ma si regia. And if you can't speak Italian, still funny, still translates? Part of it's in English, so there's the build-up which is in English. But then when I start to speak in Calabresa, um, if you don't understand, you're going to be staring into space. So as much as I want all your support to come out, I, I would, it's better to have um, people to come watch that understand the language. And Although it's in Calabres, Sicilians understand. A lot of Italians do understand. The more north you get into Italy, it gets a little tougher. And bring your Nona, obviously, because she'll get a lot of these jokes. Yes, definitely. The youth of today don't speak the language as well, and so I'm giving them, I'm giving something back to them to uh, to say, hey, you know what? There's still people out there that speak our language, and uh, I encourage, I encourage dialect a lot, and so through the show they get to enjoy that. We have a large uh, Italian community here in Sault Ste. Marie, large, yeah. and it's very unique for people to get to come out and hear their language in a live performance. I do a lot of Italian weddings, so and I always had this comedic point of view when I when I do shows. I, I call all weddings shows, by the way. Um, and then I, w I would see that when I would speak a one-liner, the the laughter from the guests would get higher. I said, okay, I think I got something here. And I would build more on it and more on it and more on it to the point where I figured, you know what, I can do a whole show in my dialect to for for people. And um, the the response that I've been getting from my fans has been tremendous because a lot of people say, wow, you speak like us. I haven't heard that in years. It is so nice to have someone out there representing us. And it's 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 really nice for me. What does your mom think of this show? She was like, okay, look, if you want to do a show, you do a show. I said, listen, but I got to tell you something. The show's about you. And she just stared at me. She's like, what do you mean the show's about me? And I said, the show's about you. That's it? You, you're just going to talk about me? I go, yeah. She goes, how long is the show going to be? I said, I don't know, an hour and a half. She says, you're going to talk, what are you going to talk about for an hour and a half? I said, don't worry, ma, I got enough, I got enough information. So at first she like, kind of like all right you know but then uh she knows i've been making fun of her for 20 years on stage little clippets here and there and she says okay well if uh, this is what you want to do this is what you want to do now lately now that the it's started to get a little bit more noticed uh she's it makes these snide jokes about uh you know when am i getting my my piece you're over some royalty oh yeah i yeah, know she's uh she's waiting for something so i gotta get her a cadillac one day <laughs> But uh, it'll, uh, I think she just wants a new kitchen, to be honest, so I'll figure it out. Okay. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you here in Sault Ste. Marie on February 25th at yeah. the Machine Shop. At the Machine Shop, yes. Reporting for Sue Today, I'm Jasmine Rowley. Thank you so much.